Okay, anyway, so we've kind of got an announcement. Yeah. And this is Big where, one. Yeah, we're going to need your help out there. And this has got to do with this next kind of big thing that Seamilk and I are doing together for, for ADB China. Day, isn't it here in Hong Kong? Oh, how's it going? <laughs> How did you just pop in the frame like that? I have no idea. Uh, anyway, we're in Hong Kong. We're off to do what? <laughs> Seems to be a trend these days. Yeah, it is. We're off to go do uh, voiceovers at a professional studio yep. uh, to, for our Conquering Northern China, our new season of our TV show. So we've booked the studio. We got to do some like the intros, like coming soon, next time on Conquering Northern China. That yeah. Kind of so we, we needed a proper professional level studio and. It was kind of difficult to find one in Shenzhen or Huizhou. I right. mean, they've got them, but we wanted to They're to basically sure closets, man. Yeah. Like, this is this place does BBC, it does all the real big stuff, you know? Yeah. So that's that's what we want. Okay, anyway, so we've kind of got an announcement. Yeah. And this is big one. where, yeah, we're going to need your help so, yeah. out there. Yeah. And yeah. this has got to do with this next kind of big thing that Seamilk and I are doing together for, for ADV China. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to go to America. Yep. And we're going up the West Coast. And what are we going to be doing on the West Coast? We are going to be basically going to every Chinatown or area that has a heavy Chinese population, uh, finding out the best food, authentic Chinese food in those areas, mm -hmm. and also meeting the local people that, uh, you know, kind of make the whole place lively and Chinese. You yeah, know? yeah. So this is our plan. We decided that what we're going to do is we're going to be looking for the most authentic Chinese in America. Right. So the idea is to kind of bridge the gap between the people that would normally go to your average Americanized takeout restaurant, mm -hmm. but are maybe a little bit curious about what real Chinese food is like. And we're going to actually see if we can find it. I guarantee we can. Yeah. Um, in the journey and the road trip, it's going to be super fun. But yeah. we do need your help big time. Oh, yeah. Because look, here's the thing. Because we've spent so many years in China eating Chinese food, we know what a real authentic Chinese food is, is like. And that's what we want to do is we want to show you where to find the most authentic Chinese in your neighborhood. Right. Or at least along the West Coast. Right. But we kind of need pointers. We don't want to just turn up because we understand America is not like China. We can't just turn up and start filming in a restaurant. No, no. So if you know anyone who knows anyone who knows anyone who owns a restaurant. Right. Um, could you get us in touch with them? Is what we want to know. We're specifically, you know, asking people that would be familiar with Chinese, the Chinese community in those yeah. areas. So, yeah, we kind of just need to be fixed up with some people that we can talk to ahead of time and get this all planned out. So, yeah, yeah this is our appeal to you guys. If you guys know Chinatowns and on the West Coast in California, and uh, you know you want to help us out, just please get us in touch. So, I would say go to the uh, Facebook.com/slash/ADVChina. Mm -hmm. I always check those messages there. Or you can just leave a comment. Here, and then we'll, yeah. we'll get, try to get a hold of you. Yeah, absolutely. So basically, if, even if you just know a Chinese guy. Right. Or just if you are know. a Chinese guy. Right. If you're an ABC. We're probably talking to a lot of ABCs right yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. I hope so. <laughs> so basically, please let us know so that we can come there and find the best, most awesome Chinese restaurants in America on the West Coast. And it'll be like really good advertising for whoever's, you know. For sure. I mean, look at what my Chinese... Chinese food video did 3 million views, so mm -hmm. I'm sure they got some customers after that. Yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much the beal on the end all. We have to rush off to this recording studio. I'll show you guys what yeah, it's like yeah. there. When we get there. Yeah. Um, anything you want to say to our subscribers before we sign off? Whether or not you help us. Well, I really hope you do, actually. <laughs> so I'm not even going to sign off like that. Okay. I appreciate your help. Please get a hold of us, and we'll, uh, I hope you guys are as stoked as we are about this trip. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, whether or not you care about Chinese food or not, you know, it's still going to be a fun experience because sure. we're going to be driving in the Corvettes yep. and we're going to be Sorry. doing all sorts of stuff. Um. <laughs> we just got chewed to the side. Mind, she's got a, an issue. Uh, um, <clears throat> you know, we love you all the same. We'll see you there. Can't wait. It's going to be around January, by the way. That's yep. kind of uh, the working date. So it's either going to be... You know, Hopefully. December or January, probably January because December is the whole Christmas rush right, and all. Right. Anyway, see you next time. And as always, you know the drill. Stay awesome. I'm Winston Stozel, and he's Matthew Tai. <laughs> For a decade, we've lived in southern China, making YouTube videos that give outsiders a unique insight into Chinese culture. Show your faces. Where are your faces? Well, it's part of our video, and now we're just lying. We don't have producers.
Show your faces quickly. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. That's a tiny little piece of rice. After a hard day of filming for ADV China, we're here at, uh, we're actually in Hong Kong. Yeah, right? we're in Hong Kong. And we are at an all-you-can-eat Japanese place, but it's a little bit different than the other places. You actually get this little book. It's awesome. And you fill it out for all the dishes you want, but you have a time limit, right? It's two hours? Yeah, yeah. Two hours. Or you can two eat hours. longer than pay long. Oh, that, well, it's nice that they have that option, but it's all, all, all you can drink beer. How's the food so far? Is it okay? Yeah. I'm gonna get tucked in. Just come in. Yeah, everything's Very a little small. small, but you can keep ordering. So. You just, yep. just fin let's finish this book. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's the thing. I hate it when people skimp out, like places like this, they skimp out. They make it smaller. I'll just order more then. I'll order 10. Yeah, like, oh, really? You ain't tricking me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs>